Hey guys and gals and folks and things, uh, welcome back again. So I am swapping again back to the uh, Vax VCBO2 video card project because I like swapping back and forth just to, you know, really enrage people and make them feel annoyed. I am working on my uh, DIY video card still. Right now I'm soldering in the uh, the other dual part SRAM. You'd already be aware if you watched the last video, but yeah, that's done. I shot this back in November and my schedule is effed beyond repair. That is going to take me a while. It did. Um, so that will be next week. We'll get into the CPLD stuff, uh, hopefully, if that doesn't take me too long. But let's recap on the VAX stuff, because there's there's the VAX right there that is um, kind of half torn down and in a state of disrepair as we try and get this working. So if you remember last time, uh, we basically, after much, much work, um, resulted in this guy. And this was going to be my adapter for the LK201, uh, I think, uh, keyboard that I was going to hook up to the thing to try and get video working. And this is the UART, the uh, serial USB thingy for my laptop that I was using to trick the thing into thinking there was a keyboard attached after I exploded this thing. Um, which hopefully someday we'll get back to a project on this, uh, wherein I replace this board, um, that I seem to have ruined because I am a horrible, uh, connoisseur of the old computers. So this week, the plan is take this little thing. Um, I'm sure I have some VGA connectors around somewhere. Uh, but I just need to attach a VGA connector to that. Supposedly there's just, uh, you know, RGB and ground on there for each of the video signals. And then I think sync hungry. And then we're going to uh, try and attach that to this monitor to my right and see if it's outputting anything. So it might be kind of a short one today, but uh, we'll see how far I can get. And especially we'll see how far I can get without a mouse because that's going to be another bigger project. Maybe I'll try and get like mouse and keyboard emulation kind of working this time around if I have time between doing this and, you know, soldering this guy right right down here. Uh, that's where the video, the other video card, the DIY video card is down here. Anyway, I'll stop my babbling. Let's uh, solder a connector onto there and plug this in and I just do it, I guess. Just do it. All right. Okay, so I think you'll remember this document from last time, the very helpful, if sometimes cryptic, uh, marked up document about the VCB02 from BitSavers, um, which I am looking at on a PowerBook G4, because of course I would be. Anyway, let's, 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 let's get back to the thing we're focusing on here. So uh, yeah, we should be real quick here, because really it's just red video is 16, red ground is 15, green video is... Yeah, um, these should be the right pins here, and so all I should need to do is do the right guys on here. So if I am looking at this right, and this is connected to the serial, right? We were looking at that last time and it was in fact working. Um, I guess we have to figure out, let's see. It's got what they think the numbering is up here. And so we're using one, three, two, and four up in this corner. That's these guys, because that is keyboard port one, uh, two, and four were um, transmit and receive. So, uh, I do have a VGA connector. Oh no, it came unglued. Oh, that's sad. Um, well, whatever. We really aren't going to be using that anyway. But I have a VGA connector that I am going to solder onto here, and then I will join that to the pins that they're calling out here for video. And really, that's basically it. We'll just plug it in, see if it goes. I don't even know if that monitor uh, does sync on green in the first place, so it's going to be interesting. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna solder these to the bottom of the board just to like anchor them physically, and then I'll, I'll run some wires over.
Okay, false start with a uh, bad connection on the serial there going into the little uh, adapter board doodad. Um, but so far it looks good. I'm sure you can't see Jack from this distance, but uh, all the lights are off. Um, it did the transaction as expected. Um, so it looks like we're in the same place we were last time. So I guess now the only thing I can do is uh, strap in this monitor and see what happens, huh? So that's interesting. Firstly, of course, uh, apologies for the rolling bars. Um, someday I'll get like a real camera. But check this out. Again, I had another false start with that bad connection on the serial, but this is interesting. So as you can see, when it wasn't plugged into anything, um, it was doing this test pattern, which is what this monitor does when nothing's plugged in. It clearly stays in this uh, test pattern, but it's such a crappy monitor that um, the signal coming over the wire, even though it's not at the same sync rate or anything, is getting overlaid on top of the scan lines that are getting drawn, which is quite fascinating. But looking at this rolling picture, I am almost certain that this, you, you can't see it super well. It looks even more convincing in person. This is text. This has got to be some text. It's not there, and then the computer does some stuff, and then it pops in. Um, so I think that's a pretty good sign. I just have to see if I can figure out a monitor that can actually display this and figure out that there's a sync there properly. Um, again, it's supposedly sync on green. I don't know. I don't know if this monitor even supports sync on green. Might not do anything unless, you know, it's getting proper horizontal and vertical sync, and it might just stay in this forever and think it's not attached to anything unless it gets uh, sync signals. But I don't know. I'm going to play with it. For shits and giggles, I decided to bust out this crappy Dell LCD that I've had from forever. I got it from an old job, actually. I decided I'd just bust it out because it's the only other monitor I have sitting around that has uh, VGA on it. And, uh, well, let's, let's fire things up. All right, I'll start the keyboard script over here on the laptop and hit power. Hold up. Well, the keyboard script died. Let's try that one more time. All right, just hit reset. See how it blanks out like it's almost getting a signal or something? Oh, who would have thought? Like, <laughs> I did not expect this to work in a million years. I wouldn't have expected any random LCD to, like, support sync on green, or it might not even be doing that. This might just be smart enough that it's, like, looking for blanking intervals that fit. I, I, I really don't know. Um, but I didn't expect this. I'm very happy with this. Um, as you can see, uh, it got to here, and this is now my problem. Um, I'm going to need to emulate a keyboard further because this is the boot prompt. But this is the boot prompt! Check it out! The boot prompt is totally over on the video card. The CPU is, like, sending it stuff like it's a console. How cool is that? Okay, um, oof, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be a little more painful because I have to try and send some keyboard stuff to it, I guess. Maybe I'll just write a, like, <laughs> I want to I want to just knock this out, but I also want this to be usable at some point. So maybe I'll just knock out like a keyboard script V2 that sends some basic key presses uh, that I can run, like run this script to get the thing to boot, then kill this script, start another script uh, when this prompt comes up and just like feed a couple key presses, uh, you know, that are statically set up to be the same every time to uh, boot my boot drive. All right. <laughs> Give me a hot second to do that. Maybe like a day to do that, um, but I'm going to give that a shot. Okay, 
So it just ran the regular startup keyboard emulation script. Um, and we got this far, as usual, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna kill this. Um, I've set up a really, 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 really simple test. I think literally all you do now to uh, tell the machine that you're sending key presses is just send, there's a whole table of key codes in that uh, BitSavers document. Um, and so I think you just send the key code and it's that simple. So I'm just gonna send the one for, I don't even remember, maybe A, some character. Hopefully it will show up on screen. I'm just gonna run the script, see what happens. Bam! Okay, um, this camera is very far away, but it typed an A. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little closer to the screen. We'll do another test, trying to do B D U A zero return, and I mean it should boot, but that should also get us a long, long way because uh, hopefully it'll get us all the way to deck windows. I mean, you know, ideally it should take us to like the deck windows login prompt. So this could get exciting. Okay, so the script's been updated again. Uh, now it's just sending the characters that I believe um, should be the ones for the boot command. Um, so <laughs> I also, for dramatic effect, I, I have not run this yet. I added a line in there to wait for me to hit enter um, before it sends the enter character. So, uh, you know, I don't accidentally see something happen um, before it is time. And if it fails, then I can just reset without like at proceeding any further. So let's give this a shot um, and see if anything happens good, I guess. Okay, so that's good. It's doing the CPU tests. Same as always. Um, I guess I can kill the script down here. And... Wait for this thing to get to the boot prompt. Okay, there it is. Running the script. Ah, damn it! We're real close. I forgot to put in the one. It just says BDUA. I need it to be DUA1. Okay. Let's make one minor change and reset. Updated. I'm gonna run this from the start because if I have to deal with this tension, then so do you. Um, also, sorry about my dirty screens. I should rag those down. Um, it's so funny. It doesn't show up anywhere except for on camera. Anyway, um, okay, script is up. Let's hit the power. Okay, script away. There we go, we're having some transactions. And I will kill this script. Start the other script. Well, not yet. Wait till it's done with the CPU checks. Okay. All right. This might be it. I might be needing to get prepared to fold down the laptop screen real quick. Here it goes. Are you kidding me? It says BDUA4. Wow, okay, that's some horse shit. Uh, there is a typo in the actual uh, deck literature. As far as I know, this is the official document, but it's a very clear typo now. Um, I had to go through, I'm surprised I didn't pick it up faster. It's kind of obvious once you look at it, but I started looking at secondary sources instead of just looking at the rest of the uh, listing in the manual. Um, but this is, there's a guy who, uh, for hints and tips and tricks and figuring out how to do this, uh, he was building his own uh, PS2 to um, LK keyboard adapter. And this is his PS2 to LK, woo, light. And this is his PS2 to LK uh, scan code converter. Um, it's like a conversion matrix. Uh, and between this and... Uh, looking at OS Dev, um, their listings for what the uh, AT scan codes are. Took me all of that, even though I could have just looked at the manual to realize all the keys in one row, like going down the listing, um, they start at D0 and then skip to C1, C2, C3, C4. Yeah, that's supposed to be C0. So solve that mystery. Let's try this one again. Okay, normal script, power on. Yeah, we're going through all of this. We got video. Well, we got we got blanking. I'm gonna run the script. Uh, 
We got more video. Okay, we have... We have CPU tests. Killing this script. Getting the other script ready. Which has hopefully been properly updated now. Come on, baby! Okay, we're at the boot prompt. Running the other script. Oh, look, it actually says BDUA1 now. If you can read that, I'm not sure. Okay, press enter to go. That seems to be doing something. That seems to be doing something. It's thinking about it. I, I sure hope DUA1 is actually the boot disk, or maybe I completely hosed that up too. Oh, this seems about right. It's doing like the disk startup checks, but this system is so robust, the disks check themselves when the system starts up. I already said that in my uh, teardown video of this, which, hey, if you find this interesting, there is in fact a, uh, a bit of a teardown video on this. It's more of a reassembly video. Oh, uh, it's booting. It's doing stuff. Fax VMS. Uh-oh. Okay. I hope this is good. It's not really saying anything. It's definitely crunching. It's doing stuff on the disk. <laughs> if it's asking me for the date and time right now. Oh boy. That's not great. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting console stuff. Sweet. Okay, it didn't lose the time. Maybe just because I've had it plugged in this whole time? I want to get tighter in on there, but um, at the same time, if it suddenly goes into deck windows mode, I like, don't want to lose the whole majesty of the entire thing. These are all opcom, uh, kind of the system operator account um, sending you messages at startup. I probably sound like an idiot to vax people. Like, uh, I don't know. I should know what, what opcom is, but no, I do not. Oh, well, that's funny. That's, that's really, really weird. This might be a killer for right now, because I am at a loss. <laughs> we're, we're rendering on the console on the graphics device. No graphics device found on this system. Deck Windows graphics drivers will not be loaded. So... So, uh, in the last one, you know, I kind of thought I screwed everything up, and then I did a little work later where I fixed the whole thing um, with the keyboard emulation and whatnot. So for all I know, this could end up the same way. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do a little research or what research there is to be done. Um, I don't know where to look now. I have no clue. But, um, so we have video out on this thing. That's great. That's very cool. It just... Now we have the next step of uh, Deck Windows having no idea that it is a graphics card, which is real, real funky. Um, anyway, I guess from here, uh, my, my next thought is maybe, maybe, maybe this is due to the mouse not being installed. Mm. I'm going to look at the lights really quick. They are probably just the same thing they've always been, but I'm going to go take a look. Yeah, no, all lights off, which I think means... I'm, I'm good. I'm ready to go. So it's not like I don't think complaining that there's no mouse. Uh, so, uh, ah, ah, ah. Hi, it's me again. Um, before I give up entirely and cry myself to sleep, there's one thing that I want to try. So I've been doing some Googling and some Googling. And uh, every now and then I'll run into these. This is just like a, an open VMS fac thing. Um, but what thing that I am seeing in here, so the error we're getting is in fact that no graphics device found on the system error. 
Um, it says one thing that might possibly fix this first thing is that the system parameter window system may not be set to one. Um, I have no idea what this controls because I have run, um, I've run deck windows on here before over the internet um, using X to the uh, Quadra 700. So like the window system is on here, it's installed, it runs, um, but pff, let's let's try this because right now I'm just connected uh, using the that same dongler, but this time uh, using a crossover cable to the console port with the video card disabled because everything's unplugged from it right now. Um, I'm just remoting into the machine, so I'm I'm in the VMS system right now. So I'm just going to try and do what it says here and <laughs> see if it makes any difference. Um, worth a try, right? I don't really know or understand sysgen, but I know this much is that for set, uh, the inverse of that is show. So let's do show window system. And it looks like its current value is zero, if I understand this readout correctly. So yeah, let's, let's set it, I guess. So I'm just going to halt it right here. I think that's okay. Maybe. Okay, I think I'm resetting the CPU right now. Yep, there we go. That was the video card saying, hey, there's nothing attached to me. So I'm going to swap some stuff over real quick. Okay, I didn't know why I didn't think do this earlier, but uh, let's do this by the light of arcade cabinet. Okay, so I have swapped the dongle back over, um, so now we can run the Python keyboard emulation script again. And uh, I'm going to restart the system using that restart button. Come on. Okay, there we go. Starting up, looking for the keyboard. Excellent, now we have the CPU startup crap. Exit out of the script as per usual. Find the right freaking script to send to this thing. Okay, tests completed. Boot DUA1. All right, now, uh, well, I'll probably fast forward through this. You've seen this enough times. Okay, here comes the bit. Okay, it's bitching about bad sysgen values. That's not great. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I should be able to put together a script to at least send an enter really quick. Oh, but that is good before I do that. So I don't know how well you can read this, but it says, uh, these sysgen parameters must be reset for deck windows to start. You can request that this procedure use autogen to change these parameters and reboot your system. If you do not want to reboot your system now, you can defer these changes. Deck windows will not, however, start until the sysgen parameters are modified. To run autogen at a later date, enter the following command. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to have to stumble my way through running autogen, because that sounds really good. All right, let me, let me update that script to send an enter. You can watch me edit. This is going to be great. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter, and that should run this script and send a return over to the machine. Or not. Okay, so real quick, like, I'm going to try going back to Minicom. I am, like I said, I'm going to reboot back on Minicom, see if I can run that autogen from Minicom with the video card turned off or, you know, not using the console on the video card, and then see if I can run this auto-config and then swap it back when we have to restart. Uh, I don't know, it's worth a try to me. Okay, one second. Okay, stepped away to grab a water and save my knees. Um, this is a great thing to come back to. So it's saying the exact same thing over the serial console. So uh, let's see if hitting enter actually works here. Wow, amazing, it's the future. 
probably fast forward through this as well. Oh! Oh, hot balls! You, did anybody else notice that before I noticed it? Did it do that last time? Am I, am I, am I just dumb? Do you see this right here? Do you see that mouse on this screen? Do you see it? Oh, this seems to be configuring pages of memory. So maybe uh, putting that memory board in would be really helpful for deck windows. I don't know. Oh, it's shutting down. It's time to swap. This looks really good. Look at that mouse. I can't wait to be able to do nothing with this because I don't have a keyboard or a mouse. Gotta be quick on the trigger to shut down this thing. Quick on the trigger. I hope I don't screw it up. Okay, the serial dongle is switched back over to the graphics card keyboard port. Let me re-own that port and set up my script. There we go. Okay. And then finally, let's restart this boy. Ah, I missed it. Damn it. I missed my chance. Okay, I think the script is running. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Cancel. How many times are you going to see this? Waiting for tests, waiting for tests. Waiting for tests, cause tests are the best. Okay, send the boot command and go. All right, we're booting. Here it comes, login interactive bit. Next would be the deck window stuff. It's thinking about it. Bingo bango. Oh. -ho -ho. Oh man, this might not even be, this might be the old one that I wanted it to be. Cause look at that, it's got this uh, crate, you know, it's all just black and white, very uh, high contrast, sharp edges, no bevels or anything. Um, I think this might be the one. Only problem is, I, you know, no mouse. Oh, but this is so cool. Firstly, we're running on a big ass video card. I still haven't taken it out and shown you what it looks like and I should do that at some point. But like, look at this. It's kind of hard on to tell on camera because as you can tell, oh, I'm not like doing any kind of proper image setup, videography crap. Um, but I love like these, these like faded, uh, like everything looks like you're looking at it through like an amber filter. Um, I don't know why that just absolutely gets me. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna make noises now. Yeah, the, the next little push I'm going to make is, uh, I'm tr gonna try logging in as the system account. I'm just gonna write another keyboard script that will hopefully, um, well, let's, let's try this. Let me just run my little, I'll just run the, the boot script. Yeah, that didn't type Jack. That's so strange that like after deck windows comes up, like this seems to not do anything anymore. Is it because it's expecting a mouse or, you know, what's an interesting thought is possibly, oh yeah, I'll have to look at that. Maybe that's for next time because you know what I bet is happening. Yeah, yeah, bet money. Bet you money, bet you cash money, that uh, when the graphics drivers are starting up, they are resetting the whole keyboard deal and I am missing a whole like keyboard configuration thing for a second time around. So my script's gonna probably have to get a little bit more complicated. Um, yeah, after that boot script, I should probably just start running a script that like is waiting and looking for uh, data to come in on the serial port so I can see like, ooh, what are you sending? You know, pick up anything so that I can, you know, go from there and see what it's expecting me to do. That's my guess. That would make a lot of sense to me. 
Um, and then it, it kind of sees the keyboard as not being initialized the second time around. Um, that could explain it. Either way, oh, I am, I am so happy with that. I thought this was going to be another, uh, you know, fail video, honestly. Well, actually, let's be fair. I haven't had, like, a lot of real fail videos yet. I had the Genesis fail video, but that was just, I forgot how that card works, and I don't feel like going back to it. Um, but yeah, this has been pretty good. I really, really needed this, honestly. I was not feeling great today. I haven't been feeling great lately. I've just been we lock in and not having great mental health in the first place, honestly. But, uh, oh, today I was thinking about the prospect of doing more soldering on the uh, video card that is somewhere around here. And I love that project, but, um, you know, that's a bunch of work for not being able to make a video out of it and all of that. And then I have to do more work to do actual, you know, the next video on it. So, oh, getting a win on this today, seeing that display come up, so good. So good. Thank you, guys, as always, for coming and watching me struggle and sometimes succeed, even. Um, it's good to have you here. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys around. Have yourself a good night. Just kidding, I got a hasty postscript for you. Okay, now I'm done.